I would like you to describe how do you perform an implant of a big iodine at the diabetic patient. These are islets from very little pigs. They are covered in a material which allows us to put the islets in without using drugs to suppress the immune system. The coating around the islet prevents the immune system seeing the islets, but the insulin can get out. We take these encapsulated cells, which are about half the size of a pinhead, we put a lot in, and we put a tube into the tummy cavity and literally pour them in. The encapsulated cells then get stuck down on the outside of the intestine, the stomach and the liver, and they start making insulin. And insulin when it is needed. So after a meal, these cells behave exactly the same as normal insulin producing cells do. They make insulin in response to a meal, stop making it when there's no need for it. So they're auto-regulating cells. And what are the results that you're seeing in these patients? In all of the patients we're seeing a reduction in the dose of insulin, an improvement in the blood glucose levels, much less movement, fluctuation in the blood glucose levels, and in many coming completely within the normal range. But most impressive has been those severe patients who have severe low blood glucose, of which they are unaware. Those people can easily die. That has disappeared, uh, and disappeared permanently. There's been a very, very clear-cut and obvious response.